Now, uh, in this case, we just made these subtotals. Uh, there's a video uh, that, that's called Making Subtotals Using Crystal Reports. Uh, but uh, I, I just want to format these a little bit better now. So I like to have a, a little bit of white space between the detail and the subtotal. And I like to have a little bit of white space between the subtotal and the grand total. Uh, come over here for a second. Follow my mouse. Here's the subtotal. Notice what section that's in. That's in the group footer section. And that's pretty typical. The subtotals will usually be in the group footer section. The grand total, on the other hand, is where? It's in the report footer section. And that's pretty typical too. So what I'm going to do is actually going to go back to design view. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up, uh, here. here's the report footer, so this must be the grand total. I'm just going to pick that up and drag it down so it's not right below the, um, the, the subtotal. We just added some space there. We're going to do a similar type of thing with the subtotal. Here that is. First of all, I'm going to make that section bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drag that. These are called section breaks. These lines that are running across the screen. Notice there's one for each different section. The section break controls the section above it. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick on that uh, section break and drag that down. Now the section became bigger. Now I'm going to pick up the actual subtotal and drag that down now that I have room. So that should be enough space between the detail and the actual subtotal and between the subtotal and the grand total. We just added some space there. Now I would like to say the words grand total right over here. So that's just going to be another text object. Watch my screen. I want to pick on insert text object now you have to kind of use uh, these these dots. This, these dots are called the grid, and you have to use the dots to see how those are going to line up. So I like it to have it on this row. So I'm just going to click on the on this row, and now you can see the text is going to be there. I'm going to type in grand total. You can always uh, drag that field to move it to a different location. Now. Right over here, I would like it to say subtotal, but I want the actual expense type. I want it to say subtotal for dinner or subtotal for lunch, whatever the expense type is. Actually, let me show you a quick way we can do this using a text object. I'm going to pick on insert text object and move it right about here. And I'm using the dots to line these things up. So uh, I'm going to click right over there. I'm going to type in subtotal and then the word for. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up the expense type right from the table and drag it right into the text object. So that way it'll say subtotal for dinner, subtotal for breakfast, whatever the expense type is. So you can actually use your text objects to display regular text or you can combine the regular text with your fields and you can have any combination of text and fields within a text object. Let's see what this is going to look like now. I'm going to pick on preview. And this is exactly what I was hoping for. Notice how there's a little bit of space between the detail and the subtotal. Now this subtotal says subtotal for snack. If I scroll down, this one says subtotal for subway. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, now you see the actual subtotal. Now if I go to my last page, then it says subtotal for taxi, subtotal for telephone, subtotal for train. And then notice how we also have the grand total. Uh, and notice how that's separated a little bit from the um, from the actual subtotal. And it has the word grand total here. That was just a text object. Another way we can format the subtotals would be sometimes you like to see lines uh, that, that would uh, be like for an equation. So here's a quick way to add a line. Let's say I want a single line above the subtotal. In this case, I'm going to pick on that. And we could just add a border. It's a quick and easy way. I'm just going to click on uh, the border icon on the top of the screen. And you, you want to look at these different pictures. I want a border above that. I want a top border. Now notice what that did. For all of the subtotals, it just added a nice line. And now they really look uh, more like subtotals. Okay. Uh, another way to get to your borders would be the following. I'm going to right click on the grand total. And then we're going to pick on something that's called Format Field. Within Format Field, we have the Border tab. 
Now, um, in this case, we have a, a little bit more flexibility. That's why I wanted to show you this. So notice when I click on the pull down for above that field, it can be a single border, a double, a dash, or a dot line. Well, I like to have two lines below the grand total. So I'm going to pick on the bottom border and then pick on a double line. And notice how I put the two lines below the, um, the number there. We're going to click on OK. And now if we look at the report, the, uh, the grand total does have two lines below that. The way I got to that screen, once again, I mean, over here you can control your borders, but you don't have as many choices as we saw on that other screen. To get to that other screen, I'm going to right-click on the I'm going to right click on the uh, subtotal. We're going to pick on format field. And then notice how we have a border tab. So I can make a partial border to the left, to the right, above, or below that field. And each one of those can be a single, a double, a dash, or a dot line. We can also make it have a shadow effect over here. See how I added the shadow effect uh, onto the field? That's a nice effect. Or we can make it uh, change the border color. The background is actually the, the background color of the field. So I can click on that and maybe make it a different background color for the entire field. That's what that's about. These are all under the border tab of your format field options. I want to click on OK. So that should give you some ideas of how to format uh, your subtotals and make your report start to look a little bit better.